for number 13, they want us to find a formula for the general term an, um, assuming that the pattern of the first two terms continues. So we have here that a1 is equal to 1, and since everything else is a fraction, I'm just going to express this as a fraction. a2 is equal to um, <coughs> 1 third, a3 is equal to 1 over 5, a4 is equal to um, 1 over 7, and so on. <coughs> And so we can see that a n, um, this it's going to be a fraction, right? And we can see that this fraction increases in the odd numbers in the denominator. So it definitely has to do something with the odd numbers. And now the definition of an odd number is 2n minus 1 or 2n plus 1. Both of these work, right? Um, <clears throat> where you're taking an even number is 2n, and then you either subtract one or you add one, it doesn't matter, you're gonna get an odd number. Um, so let's see which of these work for our definition. If I put in for the first one, because we always begin at a1, right? So if I put in one here, I'm gonna get two times one plus one, I'm gonna begin at three, and I don't begin at three, I begin at one. So clearly this is not the, not the formula, um, and now let's plug in 1 here, so 2 times 1 minus 1 begins at 1, and then 2 times 2 minus 1, 3, um, 2 times 3 minus 1, 5, and so we can see here that these match up, right? Um, and so the, the numerator is always going to be 1, no matter what, and then the denominator follows this um, odd pattern, so it goes 2n minus 1, and let's just check. So 2 times 1 minus 1, 1, 2 times 2 minus 1, 3, 2 times 2 minus 1, 5, and so on. And we can see that this works for a4 and a5 as well. Um, so generally speaking, a n is going to be 1 over 2 n minus 1, where we just plug in um, the natural numbers for n, and it's going to give us the, um, the a nth term of our sequence. And so that is it.